is joy. Coming to you live in Riley's mind. Make some noise. When Inside Out premiered, no one expected the heartfelt journey shared between joy and sadness. Although the pair couldn't be more different, they learned to coexist for the betterment of Riley. The entire narrative emphasizes the importance of embracing and accepting every emotion, even when they feel undesirable or disappointing. For Riley, she felt pressured to keep smiling for her parents as their family dealt with a difficult move between states. Due to this, she struggles to express her sadness, resulting in her falling into a depressive spiral. When the film ends, Riley lets go and expresses all her pent-up remorse, which helps her process her feelings and move forward. It's a well-rounded and rewarding narrative. We can only hope Inside Out 2 will live up to that legacy. In today's video, we're considering five potential resolutions that could give the sequel a memorable ending. We gotta get our mouth guard, people! Fear! No, no! That's not our... Number one, the core emotions are restored. When the poster for the sequel announced the appearance of four new emotions in headquarters, it was evident from the start that an adjustment period would be necessary. Riley has only lived with her five core emotions, and they have recently learned how to work together as a team, without repressing or needlessly silencing one another. One new emotion would be a lot of work, which explains why they were shocked to see anxiety in the trailer. So four new emotions would make headquarters feel overcrowded. Anxiety agrees with that sentiment, as in the trailer, she forces the core five from headquarters after claiming Riley Riley needs more sophisticated emotions than them to help her deal with her newfound situations. The rest of the trailer shows Joy and her friends lost outside headquarters, where she must navigate Riley's mindscape to get back home. The scenes show the return of familiar locations like long-term memory and the introduction of new places like sarcasm. Like in the first film, Riley may struggle to feel like herself without her core emotions to guide her, resulting in damaging events like the destruction of memories or personality islands. However, the film could take a triumphant turn and allow the lost emotions to return home at the end. With the core five restored, they could help repair any damages caused by one emotion attempting to fulfill everyone's responsibilities. Similarly to how sadness helped ward off Riley's depression in the original film, the core five could help restore Riley's confidence and sense of self, helping her feel more assured once she starts high school. Riley's life requires more sophisticated emotions than all of you. Hey, you can't just bottle us up! Number two, the new emotions disappear. Interestingly, every example of emotions we receive in Inside Out includes the same core five characters. Everyone, be they child or adult or human and animal, exists with joy, sadness, fear, anger, and disgust guiding their actions in some capacity. Since everyone experiences other emotions like embarrassment and envy, the sequel must explain where these new emotions come from and where they go when they're no longer needed. Riley's new emotions may stem from her beginning puberty once she turns 13, with new physical, mental, and emotional needs changing how she perceives the world. It would explain why she's become overly anxious or bored about certain things in her life. It's also possible that every preteen develops these four emotions, but they inevitably grow out of them with time. However, that doesn't explain where they go when they're no longer needed. Some fans speculate that new emotions come and go from the core five and are extended versions of themselves. For example, anxiety could manifest from fear and envy could manifest from disgust. If this theory is correct, the new emotions could become a part of the core five. In doing so, they can permanently work together to ensure that Riley's needs get met, which is all any of the emotions want. In the future, when Riley encounters someone she's envious of, disgust could help her process and express those feelings. While the new emotions would physically disappear in this outcome, they would remain a permanent part of Riley. Welcome to headquarters, embarrassment. Oh, we're doing a fit, no. Number three, the emotions coexist. Another possible outcome also results from the emotions learning to work together to benefit Riley. Instead of her new emotions disappearing, Joy and the others could break the status quo to allow Anxiety and her companions to live in Riley's mind. We know from the first film that Riley's emotions primarily live within headquarters and rarely venture into her mindscape. While Five may already seem like a crowd, throughout the sequel's trailer, there are instances of the HQ becoming a construction zone filled with building equipment. The mind workers may have to expand on the HQ for all nine emotions to coexist peacefully. It's also possible that everyone has more than five emotions, but they don't live in HQ. Throughout Inside Out, joy and sadness journey through Riley's mind, encountering towns, facilities, and the mind workers who live with them. And since we know that other residents live within Riley's mind, the core five may be the only ones who live in the headquarters to use the control panel. Other emotions could live elsewhere, providing their input over situations when necessary. If anxiety and the other new emotions remain a permanent part of Riley, many of the changes they make throughout the sequel could remain. Working alongside the core five, they could help influence Riley's decisions and co-create new islands of personality. Joy, I'm just curious, maybe um I could Thank you, help. not now. Yeah, yeah. Hey. <gasps>
Number 4. Riley's Personality Changes a potential ending for the film could include a permanent change to Riley's personality. In the epilogue of Inside Out, we learn that Riley develops new islands of personality to express new parts of herself and her favorite hobbies. These new islands include schools, boy bands, vampires, and social media. Now that she's entering high school and has additional responsibilities, these islands may adapt and change with the appearance of new emotions. The appearance of anxiety in Riley's mind when fear already exists could indicate that Riley develops an anxiety disorder throughout the film. However, as a children's animation, it's still unclear how far the story will delve into Riley's struggles with anxiety, or if it would become classified as a mental health concern. Regardless, anxiety influences everyone to change Riley, and it seems like doing so will become her overarching goal throughout the sequel. In the trailer, a scene plays where anxiety appears on a screen, communicating to a room full of frantic mind workers. She claims that Operation New Riley can begin, insinuating that she plans to change Riley by altering her personality, interests, or appearance. These changes may help Riley fit in with new friends but could have long-lasting repercussions. I know change is scary, but let's do this. Hey, Riley! But we need new friends. Number 5. Gloom's Introduction If the writers of Inside Out 2 wanted to open the door for a continued franchise, they could introduce a tenth emotion at the end of the sequel. Many fans believe that the new emotions correlate with the core five in some way, to oppose them or complement them. However, when evaluating all nine emotions, it seems that Joy is the only one who doesn't receive a counterpart. The tenth emotion could be the one meant to oppose her, preventing her from keeping Riley happy, and the first film already hints at their existence. In the original concept for Inside Out, a sixth emotion known as Gloom would appear in the series as a force of melancholy and depression for Riley. Although Joy desires to see Riley happy, Gloom would have been the opposite, thriving on Riley's negative emotions. In his concept designs, he appeared as either a physical emotion with a gray color scheme or a corporeal shadow who would grow immense with his power. Designs for both concepts are available within the art of Inside Out. Gloom's presence is still visible throughout the original film. The most notable example is when Riley runs away from home, causing the control panel to fade out and become incapable of use. Gloom could make his first formal appearance in the final moments of Inside Out 2, creating an overall antagonist throughout the franchise. We all have a job to do. I plan for the future. Some fans speculate that the second film will follow the same theme and narrative as the first. Like Joy, who struggled to accept the help of her fellow emotions, Anxiety will become overwhelmed with her desire to help Riley, overcome her latest struggles. For a peaceful and helpful resolution, the nine emotions must learn to work together to benefit Riley, which would parallel the ending of the original Inside Out. If this is the route the film's writers decided to take, then one of the more positive predictions from today's video could come true, allowing Riley's emotions to continue to grow. Mom! Dad! Come kiss me goodnight! I know! Be right I know. there! You've got to land this! Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Boy, are we so lucky we ran!